Hello everybody, Mr. Afferman20 here. Welcome to a test video comparison of, of uh, Sonic Adventure DX. The one on the top you see is the test recording that I've already did and uploaded all of its parts um, from the first session. And on the bottom is a test recording that I did because I had some issues with brightness and darkness. Um, pretty much brightness issues with the camera. As you can see on top certain parts of the video look too dark or too bright um, the issue is it's um, too dark uh, for the character surrounding so the camera uh, automatically uh, fixes that problem by adjusting its brightness and if it does that too much the characters uh, for the most part in the recording the characters um, body gets covered in complete brightness and then that's pretty much an issue uh, for the character itself you can't really tell or get a good view and detail of what the character looks like when he's doing this like for instance like for instance right here in the top I mean it looked a little bit too bright there but as you can see on the bottom it looks better I mean not perfect not too not like I don't know but for the most part, it did, it did, um, it did look better than in the record test recording. And let's see, here we go with the snowboard scene, where we slide, race down, down the hill because of this avalanche. There's not really much of a difference here, but as we get to the next set of footage, um, you will notice a big difference where we meet Knuckles and stuff. Um, I just uh, I just decided to add this scene in because number one it is an action scene where I am racing down a hill a snowy mountain trying to race away from the avalanche <laughs> and uh, yeah there are some certain areas where the um, surrounding the character looks too dark on the top but on bottom it looks a lot more detailed and the character looks as deta much detailed as well like to put it more to make this more simple it looks it basically looks just as similar as you would expect in in-game uh, uh, visuals and yeah I performed a nice trick right there <laughs> <clears throat> so we're just about uh, to reach the next p uh, piece of footage um, but yeah as you can see not really much of a difference right here but um, we'll get to that. Yeah, sorry about being silent right here. I don't really have much to say about this anymore. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Where are we at the scene with Knuckles, just saying hello. He starts to be all rampaging and whatnot. Yeah. And as you can see on top, it looks way too bright. It's because the camera picked up the surroundings of the character to be too dark and so it just did that and on bottom it didn't seem to it seemed to barely adjust at all and thus well it did adjust but the character didn't look but at the same time the character didn't look too bright at all he looked ex almost exactly um, the same well actually very similar to what you expect in, in the game alright so here here's where they end the fight looks very bright on the top doesn't it yeah but on the bottom it looks very similar to the game visuals yeah right there I just uh, up the uh, volume for no really good reason since I'm not using uh, since I'm not playing audio for each of the footage it would just it would just be weird and stuff so my commentary is the only audio you'll hear from this video by the way um, but as you can see the character surroundings are m much more detailed better detail than the top and it doesn't look too dark the character surroundings don't look too dark as it does look on the top and yeah <laughs> and the characters don't look too bright at all either so it's safely to so safe so I'm safe to say that I fixed this issue for the most part now, keep in mind though, there will be some instances instances where the character will look too 
a little bit too bright, but not as bright as it used to be. Um, I'm talking about uh, the test recording, not the actual recording. I already know about that. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. God, why does my butt itch? Oh my god. <laughs> Never mind that. And here's an end another scene where the surroundings of the chaos creature looks a little bit too dark, but on the bottom, uh, the bottom screen, it actually looks a lot more detailed. And in better detailed as well. I probably forgot to mention, or say that, it looks better, it looks, uh, better in detailed. Um... <laughs> Now, there will be some instances where I have to adjust brightness, but it won't ma it won't adjust it majorly. Like, it won't adjust it a lot. Just a little bit where I need it. But as you can see, whenever the, the ship's surroundings... Um... I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't say it in time. I was going to say... Whatever... Yeah, like that. Whenever the ship... Whenever the camera is showing view of from below the ship, you'll notice that the the parts of the ship don't show in color or in detail, well as it does in the bottom. And as you noticed, Eggman's face on the bottom screen looked a little bit too bright, so I had to adjust right there. Like I said, not the brightness issue has not been fixed, but for the most part it has where yeah, as you can see on the top, the details around the surrounding the character are too dark. While on the bottom, they look uh, similar to the game visuals and details and stuff like that. Well, we're just about done, so that's pretty much all I have the footage. The rest of the footage for the test recording is pretty much a bunch of spoilers that I've accidentally recorded right there. But <laughs> nothing, to, nothing to worry. Nothing to. Um, spill out for anyone so that's pretty much it for this test comparison video I've definitely fixed the brightness issue a lot um, but rarely um, it's going to happen but it won't happen often or occasionally as it did in the test recording or I mean the recording um, session with me and ZTB um, so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoy my videos better now than, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope you guys will enjoy my videos a lot more, um, judging by the color and details of the video from now on, because I would like to get your support on the visuals as well, just in case if, you know, if you think you notice something that needs to be adjusted, I mean, obviously I can't. I don't know. You just have to tell me how much how much enhancements I need to do in order to make this look a little bit more better. However, the one thing I cannot do is enhance the sharpness. And I don't know if there's a software that can do that or not, but I'd rather not try and find I'd rather not try and go download it or whatever cuz I don't think it's really that worth it. Now obviously I could get out go and get a different camera to record with better quality and picture but this is the best that you'll get from now on unless if I go camera shopping again which will be a while from now uh, but anyway that's all I have to do all I'm doing for this video thank you guys for watching have a good day bye